<clears throat> All right. Howdy, fellers. It's another night. Welcome into the Chickasaw Card Collecting Channel TP. I'm sorry I haven't been on in a few nights. Some of you may have heard of, uh, <clears throat> there's a little virus going around, not just my area, but some of y'all's area as well, and other parts of <clears throat> this big old marble we live on. <clears throat> and some of you have been scared, probably, hiding in your basement. At times, you run into the store, buying all the toilet paper you can get because you never know. You might not ever get out of your house before your last dump. You got to make sure you have that toilet paper to cover your last dump. You know, I've just got a message for all of you people that ran into the stores. And bought everything in sight because you've watched some movies on the TV or the movie screen in your local theater. And you imagined world ending prophecies as the movies showed into your mind. And your first thought was, Oh my God, we are all going to die. But me, I am the ultimate prepper. I'm going to go buy everything I can find, save it, and I'll live forever. <clears throat> but <clears throat> everything except toilet paper expired. Maybe that's why all y'all bought so much toilet paper. But if you are a serious fan of the Chickasaw Cart Collecting Channel, you know that this box right here <clears throat> was the last thing that we were glancing into for some collectible cards. And we still had a couple boxes left in here. <clears throat> that one's heavy. Oh, this is not so heavy. So we can make it kind of a shorter video tonight. So we'll open this rascal up. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Do you guys want to go through all that stuff right now? My God, that's a lot of cards. <clears throat> Let's reach into the box and pull out the other one, even though it's heavier. Let's see what's in there. <clears throat> Man. Look at that. Peanuts. Peanuts and cards. Peanuts and cards. There's no special protectors on any of those cards. You know what that spells to me? Bunch of base cards. Bunch of base cards. Okay, fellas. I got rid of some peanuts, but... Man, let me tell you. It's just... There's nothing special about any of these cards. I mean, here's one with some plastic on it. It's a uh, Willie McCovey. I mean, Willie McCovey's a good ball player, but I mean, is this really a age-old Topps card, or is that one of the new Topps Heritage? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of cards in here. It looks like they may be age-old top cards. That side, maybe this side. What we have here, I mean, you, you, there's some cards with some plastic on them. 
I don't know, maybe this might be some mid 80s tops. Oh, 70. Decker. Joe. Cleo James. Chicago National League. By golly, this might be a box with some ages old tops in it. How about this one? Let's see what we have here. I think this is all uh, repo stuff. What do y'all think? It looks like it's all repo stuff to me or new stuff. Look at this here. I mean, that's all new stuff, new tops. New tops. We pull one card out of here. It's uh, Jason Kipnis, number 284, Series 1. Cleveland Indians team card. 2020, the Tops Company. So this is all, this is all new tops over here. New tops there. So they look to be all new tops right through here. And then we come into this bunch here. We'll pull one card out of it with Mr. MC Hammers, Cody Bellinger, Max Muncy. 2019. Can you read that? Probably not. Twenty nineteen, the tops company. I don't know. So we'll stick that one back in there. Need some more over here. It looks like the same stuff. Oh, this is a different. This is a different. And what's that one say? Nineteen Panini Prism Baseball. So there's nothing wrapped up, top loaded. So it's all just nothing but nothing but common, common. A big old box of commons. And I don't know about y'all, but look at that. 930 count box. <clears throat> How many of y'all? want to sit and watch a video looking at 930 cards oh, just commons I know I know some of you like to sit through that stuff just a slathering and a slobbering but to tell you the truth, I'm not one of them fellers that would make you sit through all of them comments. But as you can see, and as you probably know, some of these cards with the darker cardboard colors, like that, and maybe some down here, maybe the older tops. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> on this Chickasaw card collecting channel, we've already displayed some here, we got I mean, <laughs> Obviously, that's an original Topps card of Willie McCovey. This is from 1971, boys and girls. Cleo James from 1972. Then we have Joe Decker from 71. Johnny Callison from 71. I mean, I know a lot of these guys, you don't know who they are, but you know, they played the game 
before the game became a worldwide sensation like you know it now. You know, most of these guys, they went and played the game in the summertime. You got, they go hit the uh, spring training camp in March, some of them as early as February. Regular season starts in March, April, end of March and April. Then they play the regular season all the way up through September. And then in October would be the playoffs and the World Series as it was invented. But these guys didn't make an awful lot of money. I mean, if you look at the history of these guys, you go back. If these guys, they play ball during the summer, winter time. They went back to their jobs being grocery bag boys. They'd work at a, you know, car wrecking yard. There were very few of them at the time, but, you know, they had to find jobs where they could find a job. And that's the way professional sports were back at that time. So let's look at a couple more of these players that we got in these older cards. We have Jay Johnstone, outfield for the Angels. Of course, you know the Angels didn't become a professional team in California until 1961. So this card is from 1970. <clears throat> you know, in 1961, when they became a full-fledged professional ball team in California, they were owned by Gene Autry. And I'm sure many of you that follow me have no idea who Gene Autry is or was. I suggest you watch some old Western movies. You look and see who Gene Autry was. You'll see what he did to earn his money. He was uh, comparable to John Wayne. Look, here's another Angel player from that time frame, Jim Frigosi. Here's another Angel. Well, that's still Jim. Ludy May. Very good angel player. Here's Bubba. Bubba Morton. Angel outfielder. How about that, huh? Chico Ruiz. I'm telling you. These guys had some good names back then. Greg Garrett, Gordon Lund. And Jarvis Tayton. Rookie stars from 1970. I know a lot of you watch me going, 1970, damn, that was a long time ago. I wasn't alive then. But I was, boys. Here's Ricky Clark, pitcher. In the 70s, you know, when these guys were playing, we had three TV channels at the time. Three! That was it. Nationwide. Only three. And I can tell you from personal experience, many of these guys that I'm showing you, I know their names, but I never got to watch them play. The only time you got to watch these guys play during that time frame is if you lived in or near the cities the teams were located at. Because TV just didn't cover most of these games like they do now they would cover the major games that had the most interest to the general public and see we're kind of still in that situation now except the media that we have doesn't do this here's the california angels from 1970 i'll guarantee you, you can't Look at that and recognize one single person. Not one. Because all of them just had to go, I'm a ball player. That's all I'm worried about is playing baseball. I don't care if I've ever got a chance of being famous. And then you look at the back 
and all of this. See, this is what they were back then. See, all shows is team records. It, it doesn't say, hey, look it. See all these words strung together on the back of this card? These are the names of all them fellers that you see on the other side. No. They show you statistics. That was, was report important back then. <clears throat> and here is Sandy Alomar. Angel baseball player. Shortstop. Second baseman. Roger Repose. He was an outfielder. For the Angels. There's Bobby Knopp. He was a so-so baseball player, but he was a better manager. There's Bruce Kaysen. <clears throat> I know, there's two pictures of him on this card. But see, if you look at that bottom picture, look at him. He's got a full mustache. And then look at that picture up there. He's got three quarters of a mustache. What the hell is going on? Well, the bottom one is a pre-season picture. And the main picture was mid-season picture. When the team started smoking cigars. He wasn't very good at it. Alrighty. Here we have John Balaz of the Angels. You can always tell it's the 70s. Because you look at the sideburns. It wasn't only the hippies that had the big. Oh, sorry about that. It wasn't only the hippies that had the big sideburns in the 70s. It was also ball players. Because, you know, you got to stay up with the times. Here's Bobby Alietta. He's a catcher. He's happy. Proud to be a catcher. Rudy Miola. Second base man. Oop. Sorry, I've been making some comments online and people appreciate it. Rudy Miola. And then over here we go. John Montague, Angels pitcher. Just love this 1970s baseball. Ike Hampton. Man, Angels, Angels, Angels. Mario Guerrero. No relation to Pedro. Andy Hassler, pitcher. Then we have Tommy John. Some of you guys might have heard of this fella before. <clears throat> After he was done playing baseball, he went to medical school and learned how to perform surgeries on the arms of pitchers. And that's why there was a, this surgery that they call now the Tommy John surgery. He became a doctor to do that stuff. And look, this fella. Tom, oh, wait a minute. Tom Philly? No, it's Tim Foley. Angel shortstop. Don Assey, angel pitcher. Where's that Tim Foley again? Wait a minute. Tim Foley. There's two of them in a row. He's a shortstop in... On this card, wait a minute. See, he's a SS. He's a member of the German military on this one. And then on this one, he's just a shortstop. He saw the way of the good. Here's the batting and pitching leaders for the uh, Angels. California Angels, as they were known then. Jeff Zahn and Rod Carew. Man. And then we have to rotate 90 degrees again. See Ricky Adams, Angel Shortstop. Fred Lynn. He was also Angel Shortstop. Mike Brown, he was an outfielder. Doug DeCenses, he was the third baseman. Fred Lynn, of course, we already discussed that he was an outfielder. 
Bruce Kyson. We've seen him before. Sideways. Louis Tiant. Super veteran. See, this card is a perfect example to show sports fans the legacy of baseball. See, <clears throat> you can see here on the right, Louis Tiant in full color. And then over here on the left side, Louis Tiant in black and white. See, back in this time over here, humans' eyes could only see stuff in black and white. So they kept it this way for us all now to realize that this is the way our eyes evolved into. I know that sounds silly, but that's actually what some scientists say is the truth. Or so, those might be the same scientists that tell us that climate change is going to kill us all. There's Rick Miller, outfielder of the Angels. There's Jim Slayton, the Slatton, Slotin pitcher. Brian Downing. I saw that guy play after I moved to California. Jim Hicks. Jim Anderson. Ken Brett. This guy, after he quit playing, he went into announcing. Don Assey. And there's the Angel Team card. Not a guarantee. You can look at that. I'll hold it up there for a second, and you guys can pause it whenever you want to, and you'll not be able to identify one of them fellers. And on the back, it's just a checklist. It doesn't say all the angels. It's just a bunch of guys that played professional baseball at the time. And I know all you fellers are... <clears throat> Just in a rapturous mode to see everything. Okay, what, what we'll do is we'll go through the cards that uh, BITG has put in the plastic protectors. So we got Jim Brewer. He was a pitcher for the Dodgers. Jim Love. But, 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 I think they spelled his name wrong. Uh, infielder for the Dodgers. And then we got, if we go in here, there's a couple more. Or top loaded into the penny sleeves. Let me see, we might have four of them all together here. Okay, we got them all. This is a San Francisco Giant Jim Hart. Then we have Jerry Johnson. Man, I was a big baseball fan growing up. I don't remember these fellas. I don't know why uh, BITG put these in penny sleeves. Maybe it's because Ken Henderson was in action. Then we have Ken Henderson right here again. And then Frank Reberger. Reberger. Hmm. I've been to a lot of barbecues and had a lot of good burgers, but I've never jumped up and said, Wee burger me! Nary a time. Nary a time, fellas. Okay, so we're still going in here to these. Let's see what we're doing. You see some of these things are top-loaded. And we're trying to bring out the top-loaded ones to see what's so special about them that BITG had to top-load them. Here they're coming out. Coming out. Okay, here they are. This is all... This is all 1970s stuff, fellas. See if you look at the back. 1971 is the last year listed on there. So this is 72. This is Mike Jorgensen. This one here is, oh, it's not even top loaded. That's Tommy Agee. Here's Tug McGraw in action. And there's Tug McGraw again. Just standing there saying, look how good I look holding the ball in my mitt. And there's Paul Popovich. Popovich. 
Bob Miller Cubs Ken Holtzman Cubs pitcher and Jim Hickman Cubs batter now for some reason <clears throat> BITG felt it necessary to top load those fellers in the penny sleeves none of them with name recognition okay here's the here's the top one that's penny sleeve loaded of Donner Sloptic this is uh, N.A.W. of the Pelicans Nikhail Alexander Walker Pelicans rated rookie okay we're going to the next top loaded one here P.J. Washington Jr. of the Hornets Okay, the next top loaded one. Oh, not really top loaded, it's just penny sleeve loaded. John Stockton, Express Lane, Utah Jazz. And then we have number 10, Mike Conley, same Express Lane driver. Okay, we're only going for top penny sleeve. PJ again. Okay, here's the next penny sleever. Uh, Clint Capella. Uh, Brooklyn Net. Kevin Durant. And for you people following the news, this fellow came out publicly and says, I have the coronavirus. So, we know he is a member of the globalist elite because of the money he makes. And that will be explained to all of you in the coming days. Then we have a Jackson Hayes Pelican rookie. We go to the next penny loader. Rui Hashimura rated rookie. And the next penny sleeve is Bradley Beal Fantasy Stars. Yes, we love Fantasy Stars, don't we? And then the next penny sleeve, Pau Gasol, Portland Trailblazers, non-numbered. I mean, Pau Gasol is well past his time. Why, uh, BITG decided to spend an extra penny putting it in that sleeve is beyond me. The next really gay penny sleeve loaded card. Here's a rated rookie. Who is it? Look, what the hell is going on here? Look at that card. It says rated rookie. It has no name on it. Why the hell would he send that to me with no name? Lucas Samonic. Well, only on the back of the card. Not on the front of the card. That's wild. I didn't realize they had cars with no names on the front. Maybe we'll run into another one. Here we have the next one. Kawhi Leonard. Winner stays. Winner stays. And obviously this must be a six or seven cent card. Put it in the penny sleeve. And we have uh, Rudy Gay again. Now, I'm not trying to present you anything special. I'm just showing you what BITG threw in a penny sleeve. Tyler Harrell there. We, and we go to the next penny sleeve right here. Luca Dante. Number 77. Okay, okay, I know, I know, I know. 
DeLon Wright. I know he's a basketball player, but it looks like it says he's a... Sh oh, 55. I thought it said shortstop. That's what happens when your eyes get old. Well, I don't know. It doesn't really look like there's anything of value in here anymore. But... Oh, we're already at 30 minutes. But I'll tell you what. All you fellers that stayed around to the end of this video. I got this rascal here. <clears throat> See, it says, do not bend. Do not bend. Wonder what's in there. <clears throat> it is down there. We'll share that with you on our next video. Thanks for watching, sports fans. I really appreciate your support. Take care. Bye.